All right, looks like we are back with another unboxing video. I'm <coughs> You're giving me the phone. Right when I start talking, it's like, nope, not going to talk today. Anyways, we showed the vlog earlier. We did manage to get our hands on the Bakugan Arena, wherever the word is. You just had it. Just right here. There it is, right in front of me. The Bakugan Battle Arena. Now this is a actual board. It's got some uh, the bumpers on the side of it. The very nice uh, hive layout to line your pieces up with. And uh, go ahead, hands model, flip it on over. We got any any information on the back of the box before we crack into this? Uh, no, we are ready to experience the battle brawling action. Uh, Plonger au coiffure de l'action. I actually did that pretty decently. I don't right. speak another language. Let's crack into this right now. A lot of tape. A lot of tape. Don't have a knife on me. <laughs> I've got an axe. That's not gonna help. Hold on. Okay, yep, that works. A little key. Always have house keys. You know, in case you leave your house. Yep. It's got like that double layer protection right here. So hopefully this is packaged. It's packaged hard enough to get into, I will say that. So we've noticed some flaws with uh, a lot of the packaging in some of our other videos. Last night's was super shocking with the uh, Baku core actually being damaged. And look at that. That's all we got. It's empty. So you know what we do with these. Recycle it. Alright. So now we're in the actual product. We've got everything's taped. Alright. Um, that's a good sign, right? Tape is stronger than the cardboard. <laughs> um, we got what's in here? The tape is stronger than the plastic that it holds. It just ripped open. <laughs> okay. So we've got this is just some board game rules. This is toy battling rules. We've seen this before. Useless. Um, it comes with an action card and a character card for the Bakugan. We've got Dragonoid. It takes an orange shield and a green fist. Has 400 B power, three attack, and I think this is the only way to get the Oralis. Hydrus. Hydrus. No, that's Aquas. Well, Hydrus. Hydro looks seems un, like an, that's the an lion. aqua kind of thing. That's the lion. Why right. gotta have something with Aquas, so many names? Aquas Dragonoid. Okay, Aquas, we got there. The blue guy. And the action card it comes with is a common ebb. Two energy, plus two attack. Flow, if you played another card this turn, plus five attack instead. So, not too bad there. This is one that we opened up. So, we haven't seen any, like, packaging exclusive ability cards yet. We've only seen the package the, exclusive character cards. Yeah. And, of course, you have the shields necessary to play the Aquas Dragonoid. So you got the green fist here has plus one attack and then the orange shield has plus 300 B power. Pretty basic. Seems fine. Uh, we've got a little, a little instruction booklet. Uh, I think it just tells you how to put it together. Useless. Here to be. Trash. Uh, Bakugan secured nice in there. Oh, These is. look like the bumpers uh, you get to put around the actual ring, so mm -hmm. nice, nice. And they have little designs on them, too. That's, they are. I'll crack those open. Yeah, you get into that. I'm going to keep trying to get into this cardboard. I mean, the packaging is right. really... We've got the actual board here, which is also sealed. Everything is secured in this box really nicely. I don't know. Oh, it is. This is actually uh, this is actually vacuum sealed, uh, which which leads me to uh, if they vacuum seal a product too hard, it can damage the corners uh, simply from the power uh, that this is using when they either vacuum seal it or heat shrink it. If they vacuum seal it, it's a little better for the product uh, overall because if they heat shrink it, there could be some warpage. There could be uh, damaging to the back of the board. Hell oh, yeah, so shiny. There's your face. So we've got the Aquas Dragonoid out of its little packaging, and 
Boop, there he is. Look at there, right first roll. Down. You got it. Look at him go. And there he is. Nice and neat. Standard Dragonoid. Kind of looks the same, just in blue. Again, another one of these products where the Bakugan just have, I think, great detail on them. Yeah, I, I like it. And this one doesn't seem to have the head defect that the Pyrus Dragonoid that I opened a while back did, which I exchanged for another one that is about on par with this. It has it a little bit on its head right here, but it's not enough to really matter. So this one's totally okay. I do believe that's just from a lack of them not having an actual locking mechanism uh, at the head. But we All can right, break into this. Crack now. into the actual board. This is. I don't want to like. Like I said, I hate the dry shrinking on things like this because I don't want the. Okay. I don't want the corners damaged. You have you have tiny little fingers, so you can you can get in there. You also have top keys. I can just rip these open. Easy peasy. A plus for the packaging. Definitely, there we go. Well, this is actually nice board game quality um, on the, the board. A lot of lot of lot of sounds going on right here right now. Yep, there's a there's a bumper. There's a bumper, and it just unfolds, so they're not four separate pieces, which is nice. Actually, this is look at the texture on this. This is nice. Ooh, that's got a it's got a good like non-slippy surface on it too. It's really it's a little textured, and of course the cores fit right there. I'm gonna try to roll this on this bag here before we get the sides on. Before we put the baby bumpers. The baby bumpers. Oh, all right, all right. It does what it's supposed to do. Now let's see if we can build this thing all the way. So I, I am like having this thing's kicking my butt. Here we go. Got him. Bam. Remember I said those instructions weren't important. <laughs> all right, we're good. We're good. Swallow plastic. Okay, so it looks like they just do this, and do they just sit? Yeah, they just sit on top of each other. They just sit around I'm it. Assuming. Okay, so it doesn't lock into the board. They just. I will check the little instructions. I mean, yeah, that, that seems the fine. They just, yeah, there's no lips for them to set. But I mean, it makes a ring, so like, how important is that? Okay. So it but fits. Yeah, it uh, snugs in there pretty well. It does well. fit rather. Snug over top. You have a little bit of a. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna flip this upside down real quick. Let's take a look. At the, uh, so you do see right here, it does have a bit of a track uh, that runs along the bottom of it, and the board game pretty much does so just smash in all the corners where we lock them in, get it nice yep. and flush. So it looks like the board game just sits. Yep, lays right into all of those little grooves. Very nicely. Now flip it back this way, and there's that. So I'm gonna try to not put the the little cores on the board. I'm gonna try to roll a Bakugan wall to wall and see if it shifts at all. No movement at all. I mean, if we're gonna do that. We're, we're and I mean, I'm, I'm throwing this thing pretty hard. We're so gonna like, do that. we're gonna get a big boy out here. We're gonna get Maxitar out here because I think this is the heaviest. Uh, Maxitar has some weight. This is the heaviest of the Bakugan that we have. So, and I'm gonna I'm gonna actually sling him into uh, that side and see if we can't. Nope. nope. Instead, he threw it too hard. It popped open, and, and it flung out of the ring. So this thing is sturdy, and seems good. It didn't shift the. Uh, it didn't shift the if they want. Uh, Further analysis, we can actually set up some chips. And I'm not one to do like lengthy product videos, but specifically for this brand with how they've been, I don't mind taking the extra couple minutes to just set something up and do it. I mean, you you really shouldn't be rolling them as hard as we just did into the walls, and it didn't move at all. So 
So far it looks fine. I uh, kind of wish it attached to the board, but this seems to be working just so fine. We have a small matrix here set up, and I'm going to not launch one of my main ones across again. Uh, I'll do the RLS Dragonoid. Get out here, buddy. I'm not using you right now, so uh, I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot him straight across the board. I'm gonna miss all the chips, and we're just gonna see they're all very flush lined up in their uh, spots. So let's see if this shifts the board and shifts the chips any. Nothing. The board wiggled a little bit. I don't know if the camera caught it up, but the board did shift. However, all of the matrices are flush together. You have a nice little area you can roll from. The board feels very smooth. The texture is nice. And just, it's just a good thing to do. Keeps them all on the board. Nobody's going anywhere. So yeah. Good product. I definitely. Give it the packaging was solid. The rings are very durable plastic, I think, definitely for portable and going. I might keep the box it came in if this ring fits in there. If not, um, then this is going to be... We showed this. I guess you take it back apart. It does just... Yeah, just very easily pops. Okay, so it's pretty easy to store then. Right back. I still might keep the box it came in after I ripped apart. it. Apart. Definitely be careful. Um, these pieces don't twist them or try to wedge them off either way. Make sure you're definitely grabbing them here to joints because I'll show you why. If you look at the part right here, it does have the uh, hexagonal design on it. So I feel like rounding off one of these corners could possibly damage uh, the way that the ring fits together and holds. But other than that, these are solid pieces. The ring is a nice texture. It all came packaged super well. Uh, if you happen to see a video where someone gets one of these and they're absolutely destroyed, please comment it in the comment section. Uh, we would like to take a look at that. Uh, pass the word around. Again, product is super, uh, it's super 50-50, I believe. So make sure you're spreading the word. If you've got a defect, show somebody. Make a video of it. If the quality is, it doesn't have to be camera quality. Take it off your phone. You can just share the information with somebody. But... Uh, it feels really bad when we see people open up this kind of product and there's just not a video out for the defects they're finding. But uh, that's uh, that's pretty good. We might be back uh, here in a little bit with just some regular Bakugan unboxing, but we wanted to go ahead and get the arena out of the way. So, looks good. Feels good. Christian, did it taste good? I didn't try this one. I bit some of the plastic open. It tasted horrible. All right, thanks for watching.